38 years. Depending on how you look at it, it's a long time ago. 38 years ago, Bucharest won its first Champions League title beating Barcelona in the final. The number 4 reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant had exploded and Manchester City didn't even exist yet. Okay, that last one was a joke, but 38 years without a top flight league title would sound like a nightmare for any big club. Well, for a team in Turkey, it was the case. See, the city of Trabzon is decently sized on the coast of the Black Sea. With a population of over 800,000, the city is mainly known for its anchovies and export of hazelnuts. But one thing that sets this tiny city apart from the rest is the love for the city's football club, Trabzon Sport. With over 99% of the city's inhabitants a supporter of the club, Trabzon lives and breathes football. With many shops, streets, and alleys showing some form of support to the club, whether it is flying a flag or houses being painted to match the colors of the club's maroon and blue crest. It's safe to say that the residents of Trabzon are some of the most loyal and passionate supporters in the world. The club which was formed in 1967 from a merger of other various clubs in the area, Trabzonspor would quickly climb to the first division and capture its first title just two seasons after its promotion, becoming the first and only club to win the Turkish top flight league title outside of Istanbul until Bursaspor was able to do so in the championship in 2010. The side which had its golden era in the 70s and 80s was able to capture six titles in a span of nine seasons. Since then, Trabzon has slowed down when it came to winning championships, following heartbreak many times, including being runners-up four times in the 90s and early 2000s. The 2011 season saw Trabzon come very close to the championship, but eventually lost it on goal difference to Istanbul rivals Fenerbahce. The morale of the club was low, and many supporters thought that they might not see another league title come to the city. Now fast forward to 2019. After many years of mediocrity, which included a 12th place finish in 2016, Trabzon looked it to be in way better shape. With lone player Alexander Serloth making a name for himself by being the league's top scorer, Trabzon found themselves on a great run. Skipping to the 22nd match day, Trabzon would be in the lead, sitting first place with a 4 point cushion. After so many years of disappointment and coming oh so close, it was finally Trabzon's year. All they needed to do was finish out strong and the title that had evaded them for so many years would finally come. This story would start off with a match against Besiktas, with Alexander Sarloth opening the scoring just 5 minutes in. The side wasn't able to hold on to that lead and Besiktas would score too. But luckily for Trabzon, Sarloth would step up once again in the 91st minute and was able to score, giving Trabzon a point. But Trabzon wasn't the only team who had scored in the final second, as second place challengers Istanbul Başakşehir was able to score in the 90th minute to gain all 3 points and cut the lead down. The next match was at home against Rizespor, and it would be a blowout. 5-2 as business as usual for the title hopefuls, but Başakşehir wouldn't let go that easily, also winning 3-1. And it wouldn't be as smooth sailing as Trabzon would have hoped, as they would draw away from home against mid-table Gaziantep, and Başakşehir really put the pressure on them. They would win 3-0. Trabzon only held the first place spot on goal difference now. And the next match at home would be the most important one. Trabzon Spor would face Başakşehir at home. Many had said that the winner of this match would go on to win the title, but neither side would pull off the victory. The match would be hard fought draw 1-1, keeping Trabzon on top with just 8 matches remaining. And the race was on. Beating Göztepe away, despite going down to 10 men in the first half, Trabzon would take all 3 points, but Başakşehir just wouldn't give up, also winning 2-1, and for the third match day in a row, Trabzon would only be on top because of goal difference. Now, on to the 28th match day. Despite an early penalty, Başakşehir would come back and win 2-1, grabbing all 3 points. Once again putting pressure on Trabzon, and this time, it would be Trabzon who couldn't handle it. Facing Alanya Spor away, it would be 1-1 in the first half but the drama wouldn't end there. With both teams receiving a red card in the second half, Trabzon would go up once again, and it looked like they would grab all three points, but with the very last kick of the game, Alanya Sport player Bakasetas would try his luck way outside of the box, and it would go in, in the 95th minute. Trabzon's title's hopes would be slashed. Now Başakşehir had the lead, two points clear with just six games to go. The title race wasn't over, but it seemed as though Trabzon had slowed down. Luckily, Trabzon's next game would be against bottom of the league table, Ankara Gücü, and it would start off just perfectly. 
Sirloth scored in the third minute, and it seemed as though it would be a clear win for Trabzon. But fate had other plans, as Ankaraguja would convert a penalty in the second half, and even though they were down to only 10 men in the 80th minute, it would make no difference, and Trabzon would lose a very valuable 2 points. But it seemed as though Basakshir had decided that they didn't want the title either. Going against Galatasaray home, they would draw 1-1, not being able to extend their lead. With now just 5 matches left, Trabzon would go against Galatasaray at home, but Galatasaray would go down to 10 men in the 30th minute, and this would help Trabzon beat them 3-1 away. But Basakshir wasn't going to crack now, defeating Antalya Spor 2-0, they would cleat their lead. Now it was Trabzon's turn to play against Antalya Spor, and once again the pressure would just be too much for them, as although they received 2 penalties, they would go on to draw the match 2-2. Basakshir would defeat their opponents 2-0 once again and it looked as though the title was all but secured for the Istanbul team. Basakshir with the win against Konyaspor would have basically guaranteed the title. And it looked as though the season would end there, when Edin Vizca converted a penalty for the side in the third minute. But Konyaspor would turn on another gear, scoring 3 in the first half. The resilience of Basakshir would turn up though. They would score 2 in the game and it would be tied at 3-3, until the 85th minute where Konyaspor would steal the game with a late win. This was Trabzonspor's opportunity to gain some very important points. A win would cut down Basakshir's lead to just a single point, and they would face off Basakshir's last opponent, Denizlispor. The side who was at 14th place at the time would prove to be a tough challenge. Although Trabzonspor would open the lead in the 14th minute, they wouldn't be able to hold on. Conceding 2, they had lost their chance. This was it, just 2 matches left, and if Trabzonspor dropped another point, the title race was over. So when they had to go against Konyaspor, the same side who had just beaten Basakshir 4-3, a similar story would appear. Trabzon would find themselves up 3-1 in the 61st minute. But for the last time this season, they would crumble under pressure again. Three unanswered goals, including an injury time winner, would allow Konyaspor to beat both title contenders 4-3. And playing a mid-table Kaiseri at home, even though Basakshir would miss a penalty, they were able to grind out the 1-0 result. This would secure the league title for Basakshir. So although Trabzonspor went on to win their last league game because of a 96th minute goal, it wouldn't matter. Basakshir had just become the 6th club to ever win a Turkish league title. And this would sting for Trabzon. Their last league title would come all the way in the 1980s and it would just be another year of coming so close but failing to finish out. And the thing is that Istanbul Basakshir would actually become the most hated champions in Turkish history. See, the club has no real fan base or supporters, and they were rebanded and bought in 2014, and they have very close ties with the government. And at least for Trabzonspor supporters, they would go on to win the Turkish Cup that season, getting revenge on Antalya Sport in the final. And hey, fast forward to the 2021-2022 season, they would finally get their hands on that championship, becoming 7-time league champions. So although they went through years of pain, they finally reached their goal. And just take a look at their celebrations, I mean the whole city turned into a nightclub. The city of Trabzon has a strong identity. No matter how many times you fall, you always get back up. And there's no better example of this than the club's team who plays for the city. Even when you lose the title on goal difference to your biggest rivals. Even when you lose the title to a government made team with no fans. You always push forward. And one day, with hard work and patience, you could become a champion too. But what do you guys think about this story? Is this the worst choke job you've never heard about? Which part interested you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos just like this one.